So this method does work on any iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad model that is capable of running iOS 7.1.2 and of course iOS 8. So just to be clear, I'm going to list all the devices. It's the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 5C, the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S, the iPod Touch 5th generation, the iPad Air, the iPad 4th generation, the iPad 3rd generation, the iPad 2, the iPad Mini 2nd generation with Retina Display, and the original iPad Mini. And most likely the reason that you want to downgrade from iOS 8.0 back to iOS 7.1.2 is because iOS 8.0 is not jailbreakable at the time that I'm recording this video. As soon as there is a jailbreak available, I'll be sure to let you guys know here on my YouTube channel. I'll also put a link down below in the description to that video, again, as soon as it is available. But again, as of right now, it's not possible to jailbreak iOS 8.0. So what you could do is downgrade back to iOS 7.1.2 and then jailbreak your device on iOS 7.1.2. And this method that I'm about to show you will not last long. If you're lucky, it's going to last a few hours, and if you're really lucky, it's going to last a few days. The reason for this is when Apple releases a new iOS version, in this case it's iOS 8.0, the previous iOS version, in this case iOS 7.1.2, is only installable for, again, if you're lucky a few hours and if you're really lucky a few days. It will not last for long and you want to hurry up with this process if you want to do it. Just do it as quickly as you can. And as soon as this method stops working, so as soon as Apple closes the iOS 7.1.2 install window, I'll be sure to let you guys know in the title of this video and down below in the description. I'll make it very clear that this method has stopped working. So again, just make sure you check in the title of the video and down below in the description before you do this. Just make sure that the video still works. And now let's go ahead and begin this process. So the first thing you're going to need is a computer. It doesn't matter whether your computer is a Mac or Windows computer, they both work, and you will need two things on your computer. The first thing that you're going to need is iTunes to be installed, so again, you want to make sure that iTunes is installed on your computer. And the second thing that you're going to need is the iOS 7.1.2 IPSW file for your device. And I will provide download links for both of these things down below in the description. And let's take a look at the link. So the first link will take you right here. This is where you install iTunes. If you don't already have it installed on your computer, you can just click download now. And the second link will take you right here, and this is for iPhone IPSW files. Just scroll down and select iOS 7.1.2 for your device. And the same thing for iPod Touch and iPad. The iPod Touch link will look pretty much the same. Just scroll down and select 7.1.2 for the iPod Touch 5th generation. And for iPad, you go ahead and scroll down here, and again, just find 7.1.2 for your device. And for the iPod Touch, there's only one model that currently supports iOS 7.1.2. It's the 5th generation, so again, find the iPod Touch 5th generation for iOS 7.1.2 if that's what you're using. And that is what I'm going to be demonstrating with in this video. So I would download iPod Touch 5th generation, iOS 7.1.2, but I already have it downloaded, so I don't need to do that again. And once you have iTunes installed on your computer and the IPSW file for iOS 7.1.2 for whichever your device is, make sure your device is connected to your computer through the USB cable. And the next thing you want to do is open up iTunes, so just go ahead and do that. And once iTunes has opened, you're going to want to select the name of your device in the upper right hand corner of iTunes. And from here, what we're going to be doing is restoring our device to iOS 7.1.2. And restoring does mean that all the data on your device will be removed. So make sure everything is synced up to your computer, all your applications, music, movies, photos, TV shows, contacts, etc. Just make sure everything is synced up to your computer. iCloud does also work, so if you want to use that, you can do that. Just make sure all your stuff is backed up to either iTunes or iCloud. Now after you back up your device using iTunes or iCloud, unfortunately on iOS 7.1.2 you're not going to be able to restore the backup that you created on iOS 8.0 on iOS 7.1.2. And the reason for that is backups are not backwards compatible, meaning again if you have a backup that you created on iOS 8.0, you cannot put that backup on your iOS 7.1.2 device. Again, iTunes or iCloud just will not let you do that. What you can do after the restore is again, not restore from a backup, you, but you can manually resync or re-download all of your data onto your device. So you could resync, re-download all of your applications, music, movies, TV shows, photos, contacts, etc. And once you've synced up all of your data to iTunes or iCloud, again, if you have any data that you want to keep on your device, I don't, it's not required, but again, if you have any data that you want to keep, you need to do that. But anyways, the next step is to hold down the shift key if you're on a Windows computer, and if you're on a Mac computer, you're going to hold down the alt option key and left click restore device. And as soon as you do that, you want to go to wherever you have your iOS 7.1.2 IPSW file saved on your computer. As you can see, for me, it's on my desktop. So what you want to do once you find it is just click on it and then select open and then select restore. And the restore process will now begin. Now, do not disconnect your device throughout the restore process. Just keep it connected to your computer. And I wanted to let you guys know that if iTunes gives you an error message titled 3194, 
That means unfortunately you're too late and Apple has closed the iOS 7.1.2 installation window. And if that happens to you, don't worry, nothing is actually going to happen to your device. The restore process will not even start. But again, just to let you know, if you get that error, unfortunately you're too late and Apple stopped this method from functioning. And as you can see, I have this loading board on my device now, and it's almost done. I just turn the camera off for the restore process, and in just a few seconds here, our device will be restored to iOS 7.1.2. And you'll eventually get this pop-up on your computer, it'll just tell you that your device has successfully been restored to factory settings, and your device will be on the Apple logo. Just give it a few minutes to boot up. And eventually you'll get this loading bar on your device, that's completely normal. And alright, the restore process is complete, my device is on the setup screen here, and this is where you just set up Wi-Fi, iCloud, information like that. And on your computer, you will get this pop-up right here. And if you don't want to sync with iTunes, you can go through this setup process and set up your device to sync with iTunes. But if you don't, you can just go ahead and close out of iTunes at this point. And if you do want to sync your device with iTunes and or you have all of your data synced to iTunes, what you want to do is select continue. And if it prompts you, make sure you select set up as new device, not restore from a backup. Again, make sure you select set up as new device, then select get started. And from here, if you have data synced up to your computer, you could go into these tabs up here and again, sync all the data from your computer to your device. And on your device, you don't want to go ahead and set it up. So just go through the setup screen where it asks you to set up your Wi-Fi, iCloud, stuff like that. And as soon as I complete that process, I'll be right back. And I just finished the setup process, and I'm going to show you guys inside settings, general, about... As you can see, I am running iOS 7.1.2. And now that you're downgraded, you can jailbreak your device. I'll be sure to put a link down below in the description to my iOS 7.1.2 untethered jailbreak tutorial so you can go there after you complete this video and jailbreak your device. If you had data backed up to iCloud before you restored your device, what you could do is go into settings on your device, scroll down to iCloud, go in there, sign in, and you can get all your data back through there. And you want to hurry up with this process again, it will most likely not last for long at all. And once again, as soon as this method stops working, I'll be sure to let you guys know.